So this question looks like it is a translate word problem question. Um, just given the length of the question, TWP questions are typically four or more lines long. And all that really means is that we're going to read it one sentence at a time, making sure to write down any quantitative information, any other relevant detail that we can, before continuing on to the next sentence. So let's get started with this. So the first sentence here says, at the time, of, at the time that an article was first featured on the homepage of a news website, there were 40 comments on the article. So time first featured. I'm going to glance down here to my answer choices. I see that I have T exponents in each position. Um, as a point of strategy, I always, whenever I have a question like this, I'm always looking to figure out, well, what does it mean for that exponent to be zero? Right? So what does T equal zero? So it looks like in this case, based upon even just this first sentence, that T equals zero just means like first featured, right? Because obviously the article was written before it was featured. So it was written, it got some comments, got 40 comments, um, and then it was featured, right? So at that time equals zero for when it was first featured, we have 40 comments. So 40 goes along with that. Next sentence, an exponential model estimates that at the end of each hour, right? So this, in this case, will be t equals one, one hour later. At the end of each hour, after the article was first featured on the homepage, the number of comments on the article had increased by 190% of the number of comments on the article at the end of the previous hour. Okay, so then what does that mean? That means that at t equals one, we'd have the 40 comments from before, right? Because that's the number of comments from the previous hour. You just find that wording. So from the previous hour, plus we'd have 190% increase, right? So plus it'd be 40 times 1.9. That's, that's the translation for that. That's what we should see happening at t equals 1. All right, so that's one hour after being featured. The next sentence says, which of the following equations best represents this model, where c is the estimated number of comments on the article, t hours, after the article was first featured on the homepage, and t is less than or equal to 4. Okay, so that means if we need to, we could really only go up to t equals 4 here in order to test out these points. Typically, I don't have to go that far. So usually, um, the first point here of the t equals zero is good enough to get some things crossed out. Let's see if that's the case here. So if t were zero, we expect 40. Looking at my answer choices, I have 40 here as a coefficient in each case, which means they're all going to be 40, right? If I put a zero in here for t, anything to the zero power is just equal to one, and that would just happen in each of these cases, right? They'd all turn into 40 times one. So t equals zero is not gonna be helpful for me. How about t equals one? So when t equals one, I have this, I have this set up here. Let me go to my calculator. So that'd be 40 plus on my calculator, 40 times 1.9 is 76. I have 40 plus 76 and 40 plus 76 is 116. So let's see which one of these answer choices gives me 116 when t is 1. Like, that's what I'm looking for. So here when t is 1, I'd have 1 1.9 to the first power, which is just 1.9. 40 times 1.19 is not equal to 116, so a is gone. Here, again, I'd have a first power. 1.9 to the first power is just 1.9, so I'll try in my calculator 40 times 1.9. That is equal to 76, not 116, so choice B is gone. Again, choice C, replace T with 1. 19 to the first power is 19. 40 times 19 is, um, is 760. So that's also not correct. So choice D better be correct, but we got to try it out. So for choice D, I'd have 2.9 to the first power, which is just 2.9. So I try 40 times 2.9, and I get 116. Right, so choice D, therefore, must be the correct answer because it's the answer that gives me 116 when T equals 1.